Park Air, CQ Park Air, KB9 ZBR, Kilo Bravo Niner, Victor Bravo Romeo, calling CQ. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9 DBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community, and today we're going to start a series of how-to videos on the ASU FT891. The FT891 is a very popular portable or field transceiver as it gives you up to 100 watts of power in a very small package. But the biggest complaint is the limited number of front panel buttons forcing the user deep into the menu system of the radio. So we're going to dig into those menus and unlock some of the features of this extremely versatile rig. And to start out, we're going to talk about the voice memory keyer. The FT891 allows you to record up to five voice messages of 20 seconds in length and replay them over the air. This is a handy feature if you're on a frequency and you're wanting to call CQ. Uh, you can enable the voice keyer and do that for you, saving your voice, which is super handy during a contest or a parks on the air activation. The memory keyer just isn't limited to voice messages. Uh, you can also record five separate Morse code messages, which you can use to streamline your CW contacts. Depending on the mode you are in, the radio will toggle automatically between the voice and the CW messages. So how do we get started with the voice memory keyer? Well, the first thing is to go into the re record settings list screen. This is done by pressing the F key until you get to the fourth menu list. But there's a catch. The record settings menu won't be there unless you activate it. You'll only see the three default list screens. So we need to dig into the menu system. Press and hold the F button and go to go into the menu system. Turn the function dial until you get to menu item 5-11 labeled record settings. Pressing the function dial to select the menu item then you'll be able to turn the dial to activate the line item. Now escape the menu by single pressing the F button. From the frequency display screen, we can now single press the F button until we get to the fourth list screen titled record settings. On this screen, you will see eight menu items, DEC, PB, MEM, and CH1 through CH5. Working backwards, CH1 through CH5 are your individual memory channels. MEM activates the memory record function and PB activates the playback function. DEC or decrement is a Morse code keyer function. The transceiver can store incrementing serial numbers in the keyer for your CW contests. And if your serial number gets off for any reason, the DEC button will decrement that number. We don't need that feature for voice keying though, so we're just going to ignore it for now. So let's record a message. To do so, turn the function dial until MEM is highlighted. Push the function dial and a flashing record indicator will appear. Now turn the dial to CH1 and, and push the dial button again. This selects recording to channel 1. Press and release the push to talk button on the microphone. Don't hold it down. You just want a momentary press. Begin speaking into the microphone. CQ CQ, Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, KB9 VBR, Kilo Bravo Niner, Victor Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. At the end of your message, press the function dial button to stop recording. The transceiver will replay what you have recorded. CQ CQ, Parks on the Air, CQ Parks on the Air, KB9 VBR, Kilo, Bravo Niner, Victor, Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. Try to press the function dial button as quickly as you can, otherwise the FT891 continues to record. And I found that uh, you, when using the voice keyer, you're going to want to keep that tail as short as possible. CQ, CQ, Parks on the Air, CQ, Parks on the Air, KB9, VBR, Kilo, Bravo Niner, Victor, Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. CQ, CQ, Parks on the Air, CQ, Parks on the Air, KB9, VBR, Kilo, Bravo Niner, Victor, Bravo Romeo, calling CQ for Parks on the Air. The nice thing with the five memories is that you can keep a standard call for CQ and also have uh, tailored calls for things like Parks on the Air, QSO parties, or contests. You can then set the memories up to fit however your operating style is. 
Now these memories won't play back over the air until you activate the PB or playback mode. To do so, on the record settings screen, turn the function dial until PB is selected and then press the dial button so that it is highlighted. When the playback mode is activated and you, and you press a channel memory button, the transceiver will play your message over the air. Now that we got that all set up, let's make these memories a little bit more accessible and assign a channel to one of the front panel buttons. To do so, rotate the function dial until the channel one or any of the other channels is selected. Then press and hold either A, B, or C buttons. The channel will now occupy one of those buttons and you can access the voice keyer by pressing A, B, or C. CQ, CQ, parks on the air. CQ, parks on the air. Alternately, Yesu's optional FH2 keypad unlocks the power of the voice keyer and gives you five buttons for all five channels right at your fingertips. This is a handy accessory for the contester or the CW operator as they'll have all of those functions for at ready access. And finally, if you're wondering about the CW memory keyer, uh, the process is similar, but it's different enough that we'll devote a future video to that. Uh, you'll find that process in the Yesu FT891 Advanced Operations Manual Settings, starting at page 11. Setting up the voice memory keyer will streamline your next QSO party or Parks on the Air activation, and it'll save your voice. Have you used the voice keyer um, or have questions about it? Well, leave it in the comments below. And if there's an FT891 feature or tip that you want more instructions on, let me know and we'll add it to the series. But that's it for now. I'm Michael, KB9VBR. Have a great day in 73.